Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video I am going to show you how to send automated emails in Wix. Alright, so now here we are on Wix.com and now we will be uh, going to our automated emails by clicking here on the automations right here at the left side. So you want to click on automations right here. And then from here, you would be able to see the automations right here. So these are your list of automations. And then as you can see right here, I don't have anything yet because this is a new account. So from here, what you want to do is that you have your uh, some suggestions right here by Wix on what you can do. In my case, we'll just go for a new automation right here. Click on new automation. And then from here, you would have some templates on the automations based on what you want so if you want to thank visitors who submit a form then you can just use this template right here you can click on set up and then you would be uh, prompted right here as you can see right here so let's just try it out and as you can see you have the trigger and then you have the action right here and it is already set up for you all you have to do is edit it edit its uh, content and so on right here so yeah but in this tutorial, we will be going for a, a scratch. We'll be starting from scratch right here. So let's just go into automations again right here. Let's just wait for it to load. All right. So now let's click on the new automation button again right here. And then from here, actually, you have a lot more categories right here, depending on what you need for your template. But let's go start from scratch. So click on this button right here let's start from scratch and then from here as you can see we can name our automation right here so let's name it uh, automation number one just for an example of course you can name it whatever you want and then the next thing is we have the trigger right here so this is basically what would need to happen in order for the automation to occur right here so let's choose a trigger right here so first thing is we're going to choose an app in which uh, the trigger should occur. So let's say uh, in the tasks of uh, Wix right here. So let's say there is a task overdue. So when there is a task overdue, then this action will occur right here, depending on what action that we, we, we would select. And then right here, we would uh, select the frequency. Right here, we can go for once per contact every 24 hours or just once per contact right there and remember that you would have other options depending on the type of app that you would choose for example on the price codes you would have price code expired price code accepted and price code sent but in this example we'll just stick with the tasks and then after that after you are done with the trigger you would have the delay right here so the delay is basically uh the delay that would happen after the trigger has happened and before the action would occur there will be a delay depending on how long you would want to uh, select so for example we want it to be uh, four hours so that would mean that after this trigger has happened this action would happen before the delay or the timing after four hours after the trigger has happened so yeah that is basically the delay and then you also have the condition so what the condition does is basically the when the trigger occurs and if it doesn't pass the condition then that would mean it wouldn't go to the action right here the action wouldn't be implemented because the condition wasn't met so if you have some specific conditions that you need to be met in order for the action to uh, be implemented then you can set it right here so let's say our condition would be when the task is uh, when the task ID is uh, exactly this one right here so for example you have some specific task ID that you don't want to uh, let's say you don't want it to be to be implemented in this automation so you can accept that accept that task ID right here so you can go for it is exactly is not or contains or whatsoever so yeah this is basically what the condition does so let's just put a random id right there so right here so basically when the task is overdue and after that it would delay for four hours and it would pass this task id so if the task id is exactly one two three four then this action will be implemented by the automation 
And then now let's create our action right here. Let's send an email because this topic is about email automation. So we'll be sending an email right here. And then from here, as you can see, you can edit your sender's name and your reply to email. So you can click on edit and then you can edit it right here. And in my case, I'll not be editing that. And I'm just gonna not uh, confirm this right here. And then from here, once you have uh, made sure that your sender details are correct, you can create an email right here. So of course you can switch the template. You can switch template right here and so on. And you can even edit it right here. You can add some details and so on, but we're not gonna dig deep into that. You can just edit it on your own or you can switch your templates and yeah. After you have done this and creating your template and making sure that your template right here on your email is all good and just like how you want it to be, then now we can proceed to the set email type. So this email type is based on the intent and it determines the, un the unsubscribe options included in the email and who can receive it right here. So you have uh, three types right here. So you have promotional, you have business transactional and business critical right here and most probably you would just need a promotional which is the basic one so this could include offers uh, vouchers coupons and whatsoever right here so depending on what you want you can just select it right here and let's just go for promotional and in this one let's go and add our recipients and this is very important so that you'd be able set, to set up in which audience you would be able to send this email to so you can click on add recipients and you can go for your contacts right here on Wix and you can just import them right here or you even have the contact labels and the contact segments. You also have the collaborator roles and so on right here. Yeah, yeah you can basically do that. And right here, finally, we have the add an action button. So you can just add an action right here. So which means that you are not only limited to one action right here. So you can add more action if you're not yet uh, satisfied with this action right here. And you can also add another delays and conditions right here. So yeah, you can also do that, add delay, add a condition, and choose the second action right here and so on. And you can choose, can you, I mean, you can add as much actions as you want right here. But in this case, we'll be only sticking to one action right here. So we'll just be deleting the rest right here. So now, after all that, when you're satisfied with everything right here, you can now click on activate. And as you can see, it says email notification topic. So actually, let's just uh, go for announcement right here, just for an example, right there and click on activate. Right there. And now as you can see, your new automation is now active. And now as you can see right here in my automation number one, this is the one that we have created and it's now currently active. So all that's left for it to happen is to uh, make sure that the trigger is uh, happening or occurring. So make sure that there is a task overdue if you would want to uh, make this automation active right there. So from here, you can even view the summary and so on right here. But that is basically on how you can create an email automation here on Wix. I hope this video helped you out. Thank you for watching.